Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of P New Music Show. And today I'm with Alice Buxell. Hi, Alice. Hello. Hello. Alice is a singer songwriter from Cheltenham and Birmingham. So, where are you actually from, Alice? Uh, from Cheltenham, but I went to uni in Birmingham. Right, right. Okay. And what else can you say? about uh, you when did you start playing and how did you get into music and things like this um i guess i was always into music at home we'd have music playing all the time my mum would always have the radio on songs in the car so it's quite difficult to like grow up not being very musical in this family um i started playing guitar when i was about 13 um and that's when i started to get into the sort of acoustic music that I play um, but I was very shy as a kid and I didn't actually do anything live until I was about 16. Um, my friend, a really close friend of mine wanted to start a rock band and I ended up singing for them um, which was really lovely because I have quite an eclectic music taste so I was into rock for a long time and that was I think the perfect thing to help me build confidence to then be able to do this stuff I've been doing on my own. So I've done a bit of that, done a few uh, rock things with him, did a few group things with friends. And then it was when I went to university, that seemed like the perfect time I felt confident enough to start doing this more acoustic stuff on my own. Right. Yeah. So, and you have your own music, but you also play like cover uh, mm -hmm. songs and, and things like that. Tell tell me a little bit about, you know, what sort of uh, uh, songs you play and what sort of songs you composed. Um, a bit of everything when it comes to covers. I think generally I'd say that I sway towards sad songs. Um, my family always say I play too many sad songs. Um, but that sort of thing. Recently, I've been doing more pop covers, which I think I still make a little bit sad or a little bit, you know, more chill than what they're meant to be. But normally, like, singer, songwriter, acoustic stuff, which I'd say is also similar to the stuff I write. But then I do rock covers, I do pop covers. And I've been lucky that, especially in lockdown, I found that a lot of people... Are getting a bit frustrated that they they can't perform live but it's actually been quite good so i've done a few kind of band and group covers that we've been able to do during lockdown so a bit of everything really yeah great and your own compositions yeah um uh, mostly <laughs> any sort of sad song um that you know very chill kind of singer songwriter folky i guess just very chilled, acoustic -y songs. Yeah, so one of the recent one, I think it's called September. Mm -hmm. Is it? Is this, uh, are you going to be playing this for us today? Yeah, I am. Okay, yeah. well, we'll hear Alice playing September, which is a very nice song. I already Thank you. It, uh, later in the show. Uh, great, but you also play, so you play uh, guitar primarily. We also mm -hmm. play other instruments. Yeah, I try. Um, I, yeah, I had guitar lessons for probably about a year and then I've kind of just taught myself bits and pieces and then play ukulele a bit because that's quite similar. Play piano a bit, but that's mostly just chords and I have very small hands, so it's quite <laughs> difficult to play anything right. other than chords. But I'd say I, I can sort of play those three yeah okay great but you you know uh, you in, are you planning to use piano more in your sort of um, original compositions or do you want to focus on on guitar only um i guess most of my stuff is on guitar just because when i was at uni i didn't well, i only have a piano at home so everything that i wrote in those three years i just had to use guitar because that's the only thing i had but no i would like to to start using it more i think it's just the guitar's my go-to because that's what i've used but no i would like to use piano more right okay great and so you have september and then 
at least uh, I found f uh, a couple of others, your original songs on SoundCloud, mm -hmm. which is If Time Stood Still. Mm -hmm. Does it have anything to do with Alice in Wonderland? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I guess that was, you know, the, the main kind of idea from it. Right. Can you tell us a little bit more about these songs, maybe? How did you write them and whether there's any story behind them or anything like this? Um, or maybe guess... in general, how do, you, how do you approach your sort of composition? Uh, is it spontaneous or you sit down with and think, I, I really need to write a song now or how does it look like? Uh, it kind of depends. Over lockdown, I've been trying to sit and write stuff but that hasn't been very successful i think it's just if you randomly think of a tune or you think of lyrics so i have a few little tunes that are just tunes at the minute uh, like normally it's i have a tune i have some lyrics and i try and just fit them together but you know sometimes i'll write um the other song i'm gonna uh, perform today that song started out as an instrumental and for about two years I thought well I can't think of anything that fits to that kind of tune um, and then suddenly one day I just did so it, sometimes there's lyrics first and I have a song that doesn't have any music and then sometimes I have an instrumental that doesn't have any words and then I just try and fit stuff together. Right, right and then so uh... Alice in in Wonderland song. So how how did you come up with this, and what's kind of the story behind that composition? Um, I guess it's kind of a darker song than my other songs. Um, the others are kind of more lovey and slow, but this one I'm not entirely sure where I got the idea from. Um, but I thought that you know, Alice in Wonderland is not necessarily a happy story, but one that's kind of positive and about this magical kind of wonderland. And then I thought, actually, you could flip it the other way and it could be kind of negative. So I thought, why not? Why not just make that into a, a negative sort of song or a more a deeper kind of song? So just use some of the ideas from from the story and kind of switched it up a little bit. Yeah, great. Okay, so are you okay to play for us your first song? Yeah. Okay, great. So let's listen to uh, first uh, song Alice will be playing. What are you going to be playing, Alice? Uh, this song's called Back Once More. Okay. Oh, 
so just let me go. Tell me that you're saying goodbye. Don't let me close my eyes. Don't leave me dreaming that we'll be alright this time. Tell me that you've had enough. And tell me that it's all too much. Don't leave me dreaming of a better life. Tell me you don't want me anymore. See if not, I'll just come back once more. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, fantastic. That was really good. Thank uh, you. What was the name of the song again? Back Once More. Back Once More. Okay. So, um, in terms of your style of music, how would you describe it? And maybe what are sort of the artists that kind of influence you in terms of your music? Um, I guess in a genre, I'd call it singer songwriter folk acoustic like mellow pop um i have quite a few influences i think that style wise it's quite similar to people like damian rice and glenn hansard but then i've kind of been influenced through a lot of music really the fray sea fret some acoustic like softer rock songs by Linkin Park, 30 Seconds to Mars. Um, more recently, people like Dermot Kennedy and Lewis Capaldi. Basically anyone who can, who sings kind of sad acoustic -y <laughs> songs. I think, you know, years of listening to music like that have just inherently, it's, you know, stuck in my mind a bit. Yeah, yeah, probably. And we have, uh lockdown at the moment like you said it wasn't possible mm. to play uh, anywhere sort of live uh, hopefully that is close to kind of an end and everything is uh, we're coming out of of lockdown but before lockdown and maybe in in a few weeks time uh, where did you play and where we can see you playing maybe in in the future are there, any um, I played... you... Are there any usual places you you play? Um, not annoyingly, before lockdown, that's when I started sort of getting into the Cheltenham music scene. I played at uni. I'd done a few things and I'd done a radio show at my uni. Um, and then since coming back, this has been the first time I've performed live in Cheltenham. 
Um, so before lockdown, I did some of the Cheltenham open mics and I was hoping to do a few more of those and then lockdown got in the way. But besides that, I haven't really, I haven't, you know, done much performing outside of that. I've sung at my sister's wedding. Um, but yeah, lockdown came at a bad time, really, because that's when I was, you know, getting into more of the scene at Cheltenham. Yeah, so you were getting momentum and then lockdown happened. <laughs> I yeah. think I saw you once. <laughs> I think I saw you once actually at the open restoration or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think you I saw you actually went once on the open mic and, and I think I saw you play uh, uh, along with some other Chernam uh, musicians. So, yeah, so that's mm. that's that's great. Hopefully we'll be able to to see you uh on some open mics uh, but what are your other sort of plans in terms of music uh you, you're planning to maybe write maybe record some music or maybe write more apart from playing obviously um i'd like to write more um it's very easy to to do lots of covers and then to go to that as soon as you say oh, i want to do some more music It, you know it's a lot easier to cover someone else's song than to think of your own stuff but i think at the moment because you know things are a bit uncertain i'm happy kind of doing what i'm doing um trying to i've got a few little group projects in the mix at the minute so hopefully get those finished and and yeah write more and just keep doing more of a bit of everything and then see what happens you know with the world perform live more once i'm able to and just carry on doing as much as i can really right so what do you like most about sort of being a musician do you like maybe playing or composing or what sort of uh, part of being a musician you like the most um i think now now i've you know got more confidence that i didn't have when i was younger i think you know most musicians would play the you know would say the best thing is being able to play live and as much as i love playing and putting stuff on social media it is a completely different thing playing in front of people um i'd say i'm i'm liking writing more i feel like my writing's got a bit stronger and even though i've been writing stuff for a while i'm kind of at the point now where the stuff i'm writing i don't get bored of within playing about twice but mostly i'd say i'd say playing right right do you have any sort of uh, specific goals maybe in music or ambitions i don't know are you just happy you know to to play and write and see what happens or um i'm happy to kind of keep going i think the goal would be to to you know to be able to to play more, to play open mics, to get gigs, to, you know, play to more people. And especially with writing my own stuff, I'd like, you know, I think anyone wants people to hear what they're writing and hear what they're doing. Yeah. But if none of that happened, I'd be, you know, perfectly fine with it as long as I can keep playing and keep singing and keep writing stuff. That's, you know, that keeps me happy. So that's fine by me. <laughs> yeah. Perfect, perfect. Okay, I think we're ready to listen uh, to your next song, Alice. So mm -hmm. when you're ready, uh, please uh, play your next song. So this song is called September. of September, how the leaves fell all around us, how the evening and surrounds us, we're far from madness, so simple and gentle like the waves on the breeze, throwing ships out to sea, now your face is just a silhouette, but this night is a night I won't forget, an explosion of colors. Pulling closer the covers as the tide draws closer in. That's a ten. 
ember Watch the fire turn to embers And the darkness turn to show us The soul was there to ground us We were far from sadness We watched for you whispered souls in our hands Signs to the earth. Now your face is just a silhouette, but this night is a night I won't forget. An explosion of colors, pulling closer the colors. Just the tide draws closer in. out to see thank you thank you alice yeah that was really good i really like this song because i heard it a few times before and yeah i really like it is there any story behind that um i wrote it during lockdown and i guess the rough idea was i was looking back at photos when you know we could go to places and we weren't still stuck at home um and i thought about the beach which is one of my you know favorite places to be and i guess it came from that just kind of you know wishing that all this craziness in the world wasn't happening and we could just go and like chill by the sea and be all happy and calm yeah great i think it's a really nice uh nice song and uh, everybody can listen to that song and other songs that alice is uh, recording and and um, releasing on social media on alice's facebook page which is facebook.com a voxel music but o is zero yeah, it's very awkward. <laughs> it is, yeah. But all the links will be in the description. So uh, links to Facebook, Instagram, and SoundCloud will be in the description of this uh, of this interview. So everybody can just go and click. They don't need to type it in. I'll just search, and I'm not sure. I'm sure when uh, when you search, you come up one of the first results so and i recommend everybody to follow alice and listen uh, to to her music and her original songs and her covers on facebook and soundcloud and and instagram and yeah we'll be watching what uh, what next alice for you and then you know Thank maybe, you. <laughs> and maybe at some point in the future we'll come back uh, in a conversation they'll see where you are in, in a few mm -hmm. years, time or in a year or something, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I like your uh, sort of attitude to, to music and I think this is really the right one that you enjoy it and you like writing, you like playing, you feel confident about it and enjoy it. And I think that's really good. And when when you have that sort of attitude, I think, you know everything else comes as a bonus almost mm. and and you know people 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 usually like uh musicians that you know kind of uh, put everything into into music and and to play and to write so i think that's great thank you thank you very much alice for being on the show it was great talking to you and I wish you all the best with your music and maybe we'll meet at some of the open mics in, in, 
Cheltenham in, in, in the weeks or months to come. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it's soon. And thank you for having me as well. Yeah, great. It was uh, great talking to you. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, everybody, thank for you. joining. And uh, in, I would like to invite everybody for the next episode of Pinion Music Show. Thank you. Goodbye.